Well, I see the uh, imbroglio in Iraq and in Afghanistan as distractions. It's not going to change the world, whatever happens to Iraq or Afghanistan, because the major changes that are taking place is the recovery of China and to, uh, to a lesser extent of India, which means they've got resources to build up uh, political, strategic, and other influence. And in fact, in anticipation of that, people already treat her differently because they know that this is going to be a, a big fellow around the block. When you look at the U.S. and its relationship and its concern about oil and its politics in the Middle East, yeah. you think it's a distraction? You think that it... No, I'm not saying the Middle East is a distraction. I think trying to make a country out of Afghanistan is a distraction. There was no country for the last 30, 40 years They've just been fighting each other since the last king was chased out. Right. How on earth are you going to put these little bits together? It's not possible. So therefore you do what? I'm not an expert, but in my simple mind, it strikes me that you yeah. won in Iraq, uh, you won in Afghanistan, not because you fought the Taliban, but because you got the Northern Alliance to fight them. Exactly. And you provided the Northern Alliance with intelligence and the capabilities to bomb them and target them. And they captured the South. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, they've got governance problems over there too. Yeah, that's all right, but that's their problem. Why do you want to make it your problem? So what would you do? Would you pull all the troops out and let whatever happens to Afghanistan happens to Afghanistan? It's not that threatening to the United States. Is that the argument? I don't know about that because I think it cannot be more difficult to, for the United States than to have your troops stuck there. The, the, the Russians are a brutal, ruthless, so a lot of army people, right. 120,000 of them were there. But they had to leave. Yeah, and we helped that because we supported the Mujahideen. Yeah. The Mujahideen had a lot of support from around the world who wanted yeah. to see the Soviet Union take it. Yeah. But those who argue that it, if Afghanistan is abandoned, first yeah. of all, the world will say, or people will say, look, you left Afghanistan once before after the Soviets had left, and now you're leaving again. The United States has to stand for something and it has to show that it's prepared to stay. Yeah, no. You don't buy that at all. Yeah. You, <laughs> you can't solve but, all the problems in the world. Uh, Some problems just got to be resolved. By the and local. so what are your priorities? For Singapore? No, for the United States. What no, should I, be the priorities? I, I cannot think. Yes. I'm not an American. I do not uh, calculate in American terms. I calculate what Americans are likely to do in relation to what will happen to me. Yeah. Well, that's, that's why they listen to you. That's why you're going to see Mr. Bernanke tomorrow, and that's why you're going to see Larry Summers, and that's why you're going to see all these American officials. They want to know.